Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rekha Kodash, Mama. Double honors to the apostles from Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elder as well, Aharwan, by Yasha Allah of the Lions of the Encamp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, I walk from your children, I believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all about to another lesson in Yahweh Tazah's edifying. And this is a quick lesson on how uh, to, hey, just how important it is to build a solid foundation, all right, in, in the truth. <clears throat> um, just on simple scriptures, simple scriptures and simple trap chapters. Um, when I say simple, I mean like things that you need to know, you have to know. Um, like Esau and Jacob, everybody in the truth wouldn't would or should know where Esau and Jacob, where you can find that in the scriptures, where they came about, where they was established through the loins of Isaac and Rebecca. All right, through like what Genesis 25 and 25. All right, a little couple chapters after that, the blessing came into play, Genesis 27. I think around the uh, 40th verse. All right. Um, so like what? Verses like Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. You know, so it's all about the build up, you know, building a solid foundation. All right. First, uh, as the scriptures say, what desire and the sense of milk as the, uh, of the word. This is the book of first Peter chapter two. And I'll start at verse two as newborn babes desire the sense of milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, right? You know, so if you have tasted or came across this word and took a delight in it or it sounds correct to you all right a desire you know and, and, and take a take the approach of as a newborn babe all right you know you have to start off a baby start off on with milk all right you know they don't they're not able to digest the meat all right that you may grow thereby because ultimately the point is you want to grow you want to be able to endure um, all the way to the end all right um the main point being salvation all right being delivered from the said perils you know what's written the lamentations mourners and woe all right with the hopes of saving yourself and your household you know so as newborn babes when you come into this thing you want to desire the sense of milk of the word that you may grow thereby you want to be able to desire the sense of milk of the word so with the milk scriptures you should know the milk scriptures all right um you know as i mentioned genesis 25 job 9 to 24 you know, other chapters, you know, Isaiah 13, um, uh, America being destroyed, um, Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bones, you know, ultimately a par parable of how, you know, those who are going to wake up in these latter times, how they're waking up. All right. It's coming together. The bones coming together, the sinews, the muscles, right? The breath, you know, like you be able to speak the Lord's wisdom. All right. That's ultimately a gift from the heavens man you know to be able to speak the lord's wisdom all right as he once had his wisdom in his face hid on the earth all right you know the laws all right we can find the laws what in the first five books or what the torah is labeled the torah the first five books of moses all right beginning with genesis numbers deuteronomy leviticus exodus so on and so forth right you know You know, ultimately, hey, just the build up. You know, you think of it like a demolition. All right. When demol you're doing demolition or some type of like construction, you have to destroy everything. Ultimately, you need to build it back new, to renew it, to build it back better. All right. In this instance, the building back better would be our, 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 our hearts, which is really our, our mind. Right. You know, getting our mind and continue to take our mind from out of this world and out of this place and the ways and the philosophy of this place and resorting back to our true heritage, our true, our, our true nationality, our true identity of being Israel, the nation of Israel, um, pertaining to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of the speckled bird who may look like the other nations, but bear the same spirit as such by way of their father. Your father carried the seed, right? <clears throat> so it's certain scriptures you gotta know. All right. From there, I wanna get to uh, the book of Matthew, all right, well, I want to start chapter 9. 
And this is the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 16. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment. Kind. And the rent is made worse, right? The rent is made worse. You might as well start from a clear cut foundation. All right. You got to dismiss and, and, and all the things that you think you know, you have to be done away with that. You have to cast that out into put that off. All right. The ultimately desire to sincere milk of the word as a newborn babe. You got to learn all, all, all over again as a babe coming into this thing. All right. Or you just, it's going to be worse for you. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. Right. You know, you don't put new wine into old bottles. You know, you will put the, the new wine into a new bottle. And the wine runneth out and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved. And I read it from the top again. So like it is Matthew 9 and 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. Else the bottles break and the wine runneth out and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved. Man. So you, oh, the point is being preserved. All right, so you have to put new wine in, 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 in new bottles. All right, you got to create a new man. And with that new man, hey, that inner man being renewed through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as well. All right? That's that building back better, man, of your mind. All right, your heart, your la'av, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, right? You don't want to be ashamed, all right? You shouldn't be six, seven, eight years into the truth and asking for certain things that a new brother coming into the truth ain't asking for. That's an that's a issue. Rightly dividing the word of truth, right? You want to be able to rightly divide the word of truth. You want to be able to dissect some breakdowns and some scriptures on your own, you know, unless it's really parabolic, it's, it's, it's swaying to the meat, all right? Then you need your, your, your spiritual parents, your spiritual fathers, the elders and apostles on down. Apostles and elders on down, so lucky, like all right? This is the book of Luke. Chapter 21 and verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Right. You know, and that's how, hey, that's why you want to take your time, you know, and desire a sense of milk of the word and build that proper foundation so you can swing that sword accordingly. You know, because, hey, once you build yourself up in the spirit of truth with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, there's it's nothing these people can do with you. You know, and not only the things that you speak, but how you move, you know. They're not going to be able to gainsay nor resist it, man. That's the scriptures say. It'll make your enemies be at league with you. So even when, like I mentioned, even slowing down and taking your time, not even so. All right, because we're coming in to the 11th hour. All right, you want to slow and take your time as far as eat sufficient. All right, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Because you want to be able to consume the information, all right, accordingly and be able to teach it correctly, all right. But, <clears throat> you know, we're in the 11th hour where you're going to have to take it and run with it, even so much to a point where now when it comes to our lessons, it'll even go to someone just entering in, all right, over their heads, all right, because there's certain things that we can't say, all right, or we can't speak on pertaining to uh, being a part of these uh and being in these algorithms, all right, on these domains and these sites, all right. So yeah, you want to, you want to, you know, you want to take your time, all right, but you you want to take take it and run with it. And I end off with the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-seven and seventeen. Iron sharpened of iron. So a man sharpeneth the continents of his friend, you know, so you ultimately want to be able to build yourself up so you can teach another man. So because once you once you build yourself up and you be able to teach this word and the other man can be able to adhere to it and he can do the same thing. All right. Because once you hear this truth, you're guilty. 
All right, you either going to sway to the left hand side of wickedness, or you're going to sway to the right, sway to the right hand side of righteousness. All right. <clears throat> As I stated, you know, you either go sway to the left hand side of wickedness or the right hand side of righteousness. All right. So you ultimately want to build yourself up through the spirit. All right. And, and be as sharp as iron. All right. So you can sharpen the next brother so he can be as sharp as iron. Because, hey, once that each one teach one and once everybody is marked, we can get the hell up out of here, man. You know, we can get the hell up out of here, man. Destruction come once the elect is sealed pertaining to Revelations chapter 7 and Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right. But uh, Shalom, Mahabatah. How Ratazad, his lesson was edifying. You know, it's mainly just uh hey, the build up. All right, the build up, building a, uh the importance of having a a, a solid foundation, some go-to scriptures as an individual or, 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 or in this truth, you know. So Shalom, Habatha, and DTA.